In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, configure, and run open source AI models locally on your computer, meaning it's free and it's also private. If you haven't watched my video on open source AI models, I recommend checking it out. I explain to you why open source models are great, what they mean, and how I use them. This video will be more of a tutorial. It'll be a bit more technical, but don't worry, it's very easy and I'll walk you through every step of the setup process. And if you're following this tutorial and you run into any issues, I really recommend using tools like Perplexity. This is a great way to use AI to help you work through the problem. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up open source AI models on a Mac. And let me go over the system requirements. So I recommend using an M series Mac that could be M1, M2, M3, or even M4. Your computer should have a powerful CPU or even better, a GPU. I also recommend having a computer with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. The more the better, but 16 gigabytes is kind of the minimum to make sure these things run efficiently. You could have less, but then I would recommend using the smaller models, and we'll get into that. Lastly, I recommend having at least 15 gigabytes of space available on your computer so you can download these models. And if your computer doesn't meet these requirements, or you wanna use one of the bigger models, I recommend using inference services like Grok or Open Router. This means you won't be able to run them locally, but you'll still be able to run open source models. So first things first, I'd always have Perplexity open. If you have any problems, use Perplexity. And remember, Perplexity is AI with search. It can search the internet to find solutions to your problems. It's much better than using Google or even ChatGPT with search. I recommend using Perplexity, especially if you run into technological issues. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is download Olama. Olama is a tool for downloading these large language models. So we go to olama.com and we just press the download button. So we're going to press download for Mac OS and allow the download. Go to our download folder and just install it like you install any other app. Okay, so now we have Olama installed. This is the only real user interface you'll see. So we're going to press next. So the way we interact with Olama is via the command line or terminal. If you're not familiar with terminal or command line, it could be a bit scary. It's fine. It's really easy. I'm going to walk you through it. So we're going to press install. Put in your password. Okay, great. So now that we installed it, it's going to tell us to download our first model. Basically, this is the command we use, but I'm going to show you how to do it from the Olama website itself. Okay, so let's just press finish. We have Olama installed, and you can even see it's installed because we have the Olama icon in our menu bar. All right, so let's go to models page. You see all these different models. There's hundreds of models, and they're updated very frequently. I have a MacBook Pro M3 with 18 gigabytes of memory. Because most of us have regular consumer grade computers, I recommend staying up to the 8 billion parameter models. 1.5 is nice and small. Uh, 11B is kind of pushing it for me. The bigger models you download, the longer it will take for it to run and the heavier the download will be. So I recommend staying around 8B, but if you have more than 18 gigs of memory, you can try and go up. Okay, so let's install Llama 3.2. We'll click this one and we're on the Llama 3.2 page. And here's the command we copy and paste to put in our terminal. And you can also choose between the different models they have. We'll do the bigger version of the smallest models, which is the 3 billion parameters. And if I change it here, you see that the command changes. But let's just go to the 3 billion parameter. So this is the terminal command as we saw before. We're just going to press this button to copy it. Now we have to open our terminal. So we're going to open Spotlight to open terminal. And this is the terminal. So all we're going to do is paste in this command that we already copied to our clipboard. Press Enter. And right now, it's downloading the Llama 3.2 3 billion parameter model onto our computer. So you see it's happening here. You see the progress. So now I'm just going to fast forward till it's downloaded. Okay, so as we see here, it says success. So we've downloaded the Llama 3.2 model. We have an AI chatbot running in our terminal. So let's just test how it works. Let's say, what's the capital? France. Okay, so it's kind of like ChatGPT, not really, but we see the LLM working in our terminal. While we're at it, let's download Quen 2.5 Coder. This is another large language model that specializes in coding. We're gonna use this at the end of the video. We're gonna get the 7 billion parameter model, so we're just gonna copy this. Go back to our terminal and to quit this, let's just say bye. So now we're back to a regular terminal command, no longer chatting with the models. And let's just paste in this new command, Olama run Quen 2.5 coder. Okay, so now that we downloaded two models with Olama and we can only interact with them via the terminal, I'm gonna show you how we can interact with them in a interface similar to ChatGPT. And in my opinion, sometimes even better. 
That interface is called Open Web UI, and here's the website. You could download several different models and different tools with it. Let's go to the documentation. So this is how Open Web UI looks. It looks really similar to ChatGPT. You have your chats on the side. You could choose which model to download it. Remember, ChatGPT is limited to only OpenAI's models, whereas here we could download as many models as we want. By the way, we could also connect it to ChatGPT or our cloud or any closed source model that has an API. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to download open source models and even run them offline. Now, in order to download this, we're gonna to have to download Docker. And Docker is a very powerful tool used for creating separate containers within your computer, kind of like virtual machines. And we're not going to get into it. We don't really have to configure anything. We just have to download Docker to make sure it's on our computer. So what we do is we go to docker.com and we just press download Docker desktop. And for me, I'm downloading the Mac with the Apple Silicon chip because this is an M3 Mac. So we're going to download it. So let's have it downloaded. Let's install Docker. Okay, so we just installed Docker. Let's just set it up really quickly. And you don't even have to create an account, so let's just press skip. Okay, we skipped it. So now Docker is running on your computer. We didn't sign in, we didn't create an account, we just went through the installation process and we skipped most of the configurations. And you can tell if Docker is running because you have this icon on your menu bar. Okay, so we have Docker running. Now let's go back to setting up Open Web UI. Okay, so we're in the Open Web UI documentation and we're just gonna copy this command into our terminal. So we have to open terminal back up and you can just select it all, or even press this button here, copy. Go back to our terminal. So now we're gonna paste this new command that we got from Open Web UI's documentation, and we're gonna let it run. And just so you know, Open Web UI takes a while to download. So just to recap, we installed Olama, we installed models for Olama, we installed Docker, and now we're using this command on Open Web UI's documentation to download Open Web UI, place it into Docker, and connect it to Olama. I just realized that I'm downloading in the dark, so I'm gonna turn on the light. So it took a while, but Open Web UI has finally finished downloading. Let's go back to our Docker. Okay, so now we see in Docker, we see Open Web UI. All that we really want here is this. So we're gonna click right here, and that's gonna take us to our Open Web UI. Okay, so Open Web UI downloaded, we ran it in Docker, and now we're on the first page. So we can see it's running on local host. That means it's running locally on your computer. So the first thing we have to do is create an account, and this is the first account. And it doesn't matter what email you use because it's running locally on your computer. And by the way, this also means you're able to create multiple accounts with Open Web UI. So you can share it with people in your household, could share it with people within your company. There's so many configuration options here. We're just gonna make the first account. And it's important for me to tell you, it doesn't matter what email you use because it's running locally. So we're just gonna make our full name, Jared Tutorial. Uh, and our password is gonna be one, two, three, four. So let's create the account. Okay, so we're in Open Web UI. If we click up here, we can see the models we downloaded before. Llama 3.23b and Quen 2.5 coder. So let's choose Llama 3.23b. Let's ask it another question. What's the capital of Canada? And now it will give us an answer. And look, it looks just like ChatGPT. We could also add files. We click here, we upload files. If we go to settings and admin settings, now you could download models without even the terminal. You can just pull a model from alama.com. You just enter the name, like Mistral 7B. And you could also delete models directly through Open Web UI. So here are the models we downloaded, Llama 3.2 and Quen 2.5 Coder. Another thing I like to turn on is the web search. Obviously, if you're gonna use web search, you're gonna need to be connected to the internet. And there's so many settings we can configure. So now that we've downloaded Olama, Docker, and set up Open Web UI, we're running a chatbot comparable to ChatGPT, maybe not as good, but completely free and completely local on our devices. Now I wanna show you one more thing. And what I wanna show you is how I use the models I downloaded in Olama, also within a coding environment. So let's open up VS Code. If you don't have VS Code installed, you should download it now, you just search for VS Code. It is a coding environment created by Microsoft. It is open source, it is great. And cursor, by the way, it's just a fork, modified version of VS Code. So download it first. Then we're gonna to go to VS Code and download the continue.dev extension. Okay, so we're in VS Code. 
So what we're gonna do is go to the extensions page. So I'm gonna show you something very similar to Cursor, but it runs with your open source models. And by the way, you can also connect it to your closed source models, but this is called continue.dev. So we're gonna search continue in the extensions marketplace and we're gonna install it. And you can see on the continue page what it does. It's very similar. It has tab completion. You can chat with it. It has autocomplete. You can edit code. You can take actions. It can also look at documentation online like cursor. So now on the left side, we see continue. Now you can use it with API keys with OpenAI and Claude and everything just like cursor, but we're talking about open source local models. So we're gonna press local with Olama. We already have Olama installed. We've already downloaded a chat model. So it wants us to download an autocomplete model. So let's do this. And here it's gonna run it in the terminal. Okay, great. So we finished downloading star coder. So let's just press connect. So let's just try it out. Quen 2.5 coder latest. We also have the star coder, but we want to use the one we downloaded earlier. So it's creating the game Pong and this is all happening on our computer on the local model, no internet required. And obviously you can do this with existing code bases. You could have a look at your code. I just want to show you a fresh example. Okay. So let's see if this works. Now let's just press this button to insert it at the cursor, which is right here. So let's press this and the code it generated is now here. So all that's left for us to do is we run Python pong.py. Okay, so let's see if this runs. And there it goes. It cr so it, it, cr it crashed when the ball hit the wall, but that's fine. It's the first iteration. But as you saw, it works. And all this code was generated on my computer without touching the internet with a local model. It's really cool. The possibilities are really endless. Obviously, there are plenty of online coding assistants like Cursor and GitHub Copilot, but I just wanted to show you they're able to do this with open source models offline, save that money. Okay, so just to recap this video, I showed you how to download Olama, how to download models, AI, open source AI models with Olama. I, I showed you how to download Docker. I showed you how to download and install Open Web UI and use Olama models just like ChatGPT. And there's much more you can do than what I showed you today. Lastly, I showed you how to download VS Code and install continue.dev so it could also talk about those Olama models. So wrapping things up, I just want to kind of do a reality check with the situation. Open source models are great. They give you privacy. They're often free or much cheaper than closed source models. But because they're open source and they're smaller and they're not hosted on a big server somewhere, they're often slower and they won't have the most up-to-date features like ChatGPT, Claude, and even Gemini. Now you've got everything you need to start using open source models locally on your computer. I hope that if you ran into any problems during the installation, you were able to use perplexity or some type of AI search to help solve them. If you haven't seen part one of this series where I explained what open source models are, please check it out. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Thank you.